Alright guys, welcome to day 3 of 12 vlogs to Christmas. I literally just got home from work and took Dirk out and now I'm gathering up some stuff, like my purse, and we are going to head to Tyler's parents' house um, for dinner and to let Dirk kind of run around and to just kind of like visit with them. So, Dirk is already in the car super excited and eager to go so yeah let's go see let's go let Dirk have some fun Dirkie are you ready to go are we going Baba oh baby we go Baba he was so excited he started like pulling me so hard on his leash and he like never really does that so he's like super excited to go Dirkie Dirk are you excited <laughs> let's go I don't know if you can tell, but look how pretty my mom's lights are. All her like bushes and trees are so lit up, it's so pretty. I'll show you as I drive in front of it. Yeah, look at this, it's so pretty. I love coming home to this. See? Her little bushes on the front, so pretty. All right, so I'm back home again. Terrible vlogger. I didn't vlog Dirk out running around. It was dark, but um, we made it back home. I'm so, so tired. Like, oh, I'm so tired. Um, I still got to go take a shower. Tyler isn't home yet. Dirk, you have to be tired too. Is it going to focus on you? I don't know if it's focusing. There's Zozo. Zoe. She's so jealous. Alright, so I don't know if this is much of a vlog. Um, but I'll vlog a little when Tyler gets home. But I've got to go take a shower and get to bed. I am so, so exhausted. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about the truth of living in a camper. Some of the pros and some of the cons. And some maybe I've talked about and some I don't know if I have talked about them yet. Um, but basically... When I first started researching about living in a camper, I the only ones I could really find were the people that were moving around the world, that were truly traveling with their camper. I didn't really see very many that were just living in a, in a one location for a long, longer period of time. And I think for me that is where some of the differences come in, like having to have utilities. For me, I did not know that like, utilities or getting like um, electricity would be that expensive um, so that was definitely a con for me is because the amount of money it takes to get started I don't think I was truly prepared for it. granted we're still gonna be able to save money and it's it's just taken a few months longer to be able to be able to really save money because we've been spending so much money trying to get camper ready like underpinning electricity um, a little bit of renovation so that kind of stuff adds up another well but one pro that I would say is the ability to save money and that's the whole reason why we're doing this is to save money it is a lot easier to save money um, and that's a pro and that's our purpose another pro is being able to be right near my family and being able to eat dinners with them going over there whenever I want the ability to have a washer and dryer right near us because obviously our camper doesn't have one um, I can like I do a lot of my cooking and stuff over there so I don't have to fiddle with our like gas um, stuff like that that those are the pros it's very very convenient and I realize we are very very lucky um, to be in this situation another con I think those are the biggest pros and I think also like living in a smaller space there's less maintenance and granted I have to vacuum like all the time it's just it doesn't take as long I, I think that's a major pro um, and honestly like living in a small space hasn't been terribly hard for me um, I don't think that's what has been like hard I think having to spend more money than I thought was hard and also the one thing that nobody really talks about and maybe it's because everybody nobody else has this feeling but I feel like I have this feeling 
is like it never really feels like home. And I think that is the feeling that I miss. It's just that feeling of being comfortable and being at home because no matter how many renovations, which granted I'm so glad that we did renovations because it just makes you, it makes it feel more like home. I still don't think it feels like a home because it just feels temporary because we know this is temporary so that might have a little bit to do with it. But sometimes that can get under your skin and make you just want to like go and look for a home or look for a property to buy and um, I think that probably has been the most challenging thing is just staying content which granted Tyler could do this for 10 years he loves it and it's not that I don't love it it's just that I I am not content and a lot of times it's hard for me to be content and I'm trying to work on that um, but that's just the truth you know like that's my truth and granted, do I regret doing this? No, I do not regret it so far. <laughs> but I do want to make it clear that it's not all easy. It's challenging. It's challenging having two dogs or a dog and a cat in there. And it's challenging living in a small space. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's going to be worth it. But I just wanted to come on here. I know this vlog has been kind of all over the place. I passed out last night and completely fell asleep. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you all an update on how I feel about living in a camper and yeah, some of the truth to it. So hopefully you all are enjoying these videos. Be sure to come back for tomorrow's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.